hey besties welcome or welcome back to my channel we're not doing an intro today y'all because this is a vlog this is basically like a craft vlog and we got a lot of stuff to do not really you know i just gotta hype stuff up but y'all i had recorded a whole bunch of footage and then i was just going through my footage and i was Deleting, 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 deleting. So I deleted like a good Dollar Tree haul. I deleted a Joann's haul. But it's okay because if you watch my last video, you see the haul in that video. But deleted that. Um, let's just say I deleted a good little rant that I forgot I did. But that's okay because we're going to make new footage. Y'all, this week... Y'all getting two videos because I love y'all. And plus, I want to start doing two videos a week. So, don't hold up. Don't. Hey, life be life in some time. So, don't don't hold me too accountable. Y'all like my hair? I need to rebraid it or retwist it so I can um have my curls still. I don't know. When I have my curls, I feel like my hair is loose. Like, I feel like it's just different. Like, I got a new set of hair. But anyways, so in the last video, my rant video where I was ranting, I had asked y'all, I was like, should I do shorts or should I do a skirt? And majority of y'all said a skirt, but little did y'all know, I was already doing a skirt. I had made my mind up after uh, the video. I was like, I'm doing a skirt. I don't care what they say. But y'all said skirt anyway, so that's how I know we go together real bad. <laughs> Great minds think alike. So a black um, brim, not brim, border. And y'all, guess what I learned how to do? I learned how to join as I go. So I'm gonna link my um one of my craft besties tutorial in the description if I remember. But she kept telling me, learn how to uh learn how to um join as you go, join as you go, join as you go. And I, I tried one time and I was like, girl, this, that is too much. I don't know if it's just me, but I had this weird thing. It's not even weird, it's a bad habit. I have a bad habit of if I try it one time and I don't get it, I automatically deem it as hard and I won't try again for a little minute until it, it come back up and then I'll try again. And then the second time it's easier and it just really make me mad because it's like, I could have been doing this. But I learned the join as you go method. So basically like, I don't have to slip stitch nothing. Like it's, it's, slim it it's seamless. Like... So I just gotta add one more square. Okay, so let me show y'all the vision. I was supposed to do six, but then I was, after I seamed all the um, squares together, I had tried it on and I was like, wait, I could just do four. So I'm just doing four and then I'm gonna do an extra row. Oh wait, my bad, it's the wrong side. I'm gonna do an extra row of um, the granny stitch, granny clusters. Y'all excuse all that. Don't, don't look at that. But do an extra row. And then I'm going to do a waistband. And I don't know if I'm going to add elastic yet. We're going to decide. Or right, it's cute. And it only took one skin. It only took one skin. And so once I finish this skirt, I'm taking this one back to Joanne's. And I'm going to use this store credit and get some more yarn. <laughs> That's how you do that one. But y'all, I'm seeing like with the vision I'm seeing for the skirt, like what I want to wear with it. I want to get like a little black crop top, sleeveless, like a little tank top looking crop top. And then I want some platform slippers, like some platform sandals. Like y'all know them flip flops. Y'all know them flip flops who used to wear back in the 2000s. I used to have the I used to have every color. I used to I used to be real stylish when I was little. But let me see if I could pull up a picture. Cause I don't know if it's just me, but like I don't be knowing like cuz I don't make a lot of like clothes clothes. So like I don't be knowing which shoes to wear with with certain stuff like I don't know. Maybe I just be overthinking it. But I'm just seeing some like platform sandals something like i'm trying to show y'all a picture we're having some technical difficulties we have a tech 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 we have a technical difficulties something like these not like them not like them 
like this, something like that. I want something real cute like that, and like you know, like it give grandma. Do it, do it give grandma, but not honest. It really don't give grandma because like with some fresh tip toes, a cute anklet, the skirt, the black crop top, a cute little purse, cute little accessories, cute little hairstyle. It's gonna be cute, and I really wanna start taking like pictures in my crochet garments like i am gonna be on my zoom this summer that's why i need to follow me on instagram because i'm gonna be every week new picture for my uh business page the Bionly stitch even on my main page i need to like start taking more like full body pictures i i eat a mean uh selfie up i eat a selfie up serving face any day like full body pictures because like my this her picture it's not even me no more. And y'all, I, I I know I had said last week, I was like, I'm not buying no more yarn. Da, 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 da. I went to Joanne's yesterday because I needed black yarn to finish my skirt. And I was like, I'm not buying no more yarn. When I got that mystery yarn box, I had got the Karen cakes, the Karan jumbo cakes ombre. And I just really, really like them. Like I haven't even crocheted nothing with them, but like I see the potential. And I be falling in love with potential when it come down to my crochet stuff. So I had got this, mind you, the girl at the register, I had a 50% off coupon like on my receipt. And she was like, you can't use it. But the, the yarn was already on sale because it was a door buster. So it was on sale for $7.99. And I was like, mm, should I get it? Should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? And she was like, I mean, it's on sale. You might as well. And I was like, you right. <laughs> So I got it and it's like this cute pink peachy like ombre and y'all I, I seen a few of y'all comments y'all was telling me like I need to get some cotton yarn for my summer garments and stuff I'm gonna get some but I'm not gonna lie cotton yarn don't be having no cute colors like acrylic yarn do like I'm sorry don't argue with me don't argue don't get me don't beat me up because I know a lot of y'all crochet with cotton yarn and y'all be eating it up but personally i don't be seeing no cute color combinations like i don't know if i gotta order it or what but i don't be seeing no cute color combinations and cotton yarn is a little pricey it's a little pricey for that little thing like anyways so i gotta figure that out but i know what if you don't know it's best to make clothes with cotton yarn for the summertime because you know acrylic can get real hot but honestly when I make my uh like my sundress and stuff and my skirt and stuff, like I would wear like some little shorts like this that I got on under it or like um you know just like wear you know y'all know but I don't know teachers on so let me finish this. Okay, so I'm done. Ooh, it's creaky. I'm done piecing everything together. It's a little um, it's a little big. But hopefully, once I add the waistband, can y'all see it? This the back. It's kind of short, but honestly, y'all, I got shorts on. Shouldn't nobody even be looking back there. Like, this is it. <laughs> I'm a um. I'm gonna figure out. I wonder if I decrease with that make it. I don't know. I don't know what I'll be talking about. I'm just talking. But I'm gonna do the um, uh, call it. Okay, so this is the skirt. Can y'all see my toes? If y'all can see my toes, pretend you can't see them. But this is it. It's cute. The back, I don't know what's up with the back, but like, honestly, I don't care at this point. But it's cute. I definitely have so much I would do next time. I think I am going to add like another um layer of like roll to my uh, waistband. And I got a drawstring that I made, but I think I might redo that as well. And um, what else I was about to say? Um, What else was I about to say? Because I had one more tweak I wanted to make. Oh, I steamed it because it was giving like boxy and it wasn't giving flowy, but... The steaming it helped. So this is what ten squares, four in the front, four in the back, two on the side. So that's ten, and it look good. 
And I did a um a slip stitch. I did a row of slip stitch and a row of well, I did a row of single crochet and then a row of slips like slip stitch to tighten it up so it's like tight to my legs. My battery died, but y'all know how like when you're wearing a skirt and like it's just big at the bottom. I don't like that, so I wanted it to give like tight fit. But for my first time ever making a, a skirt, I would say this is good. So I'm gonna give myself grace. The next skirt we make though is gonna be a ten. This like if I was to rate this, honestly I can't even see it in the camera. If I was to rate this skirt, I gotta weave all the ends in. Now when it comes down to clothes, I'm I'm weaving in my ends this year. Like I need to get out of that. But I would give this a solid eight. It's cute. I really want a maxi skirt, but it's getting a little too hot for that. But if I do it in cotton yarn, it won't be that hot. So I don't know what's up with me in these crop tops, but like every time I, I try something on, I gotta have a crop top on because it just gives like the, the vision. But yeah. The next day. Hey besties, it is Thursday. And today I gotta do something with my nails because like I'm getting tired of them looking like this. And I need to finish this bolero. And I'm going to, um, whenever I open my MacBook and stuff, I'm going to show y'all the tutorial I use for my skirt. And I'm going to show y'all the tutorial I use for this bolero so that I don't have to, uh, because I know I'm going to forget to put it in the description box. But y'all, I got these personal nails from Dollar Tree a few weeks ago. So we about to put one of these sets so I don't know yet. I wish y'all could tell me, like, I'll probably do these. These are cute. They're like an arm and set, and I'm going to shape them up and stuff. And I had got um a pink box last time, and it had, like, glue on them already. So, like, they did not last, and that was weird. But uh, this is the Bolero so far. I started working on the other sleeve. And I'm going to steam it, and it's going to be cute. And I'm going to show y'all the dress I want to wear with it. Hopefully, it look good. If not, then I still can find some other outfits to wear with. Y'all like my hair? It won't be up long. I promise you it won't be up long. sleeping on Dollar Tree all you need to do is do like a little cute shape up and add some cuticle oil I cut them down and added top coat and they cute and they got that top coat at Dollar Tree so you don't even have to have like a, a UV top coat 
it'll still work the same most likely but so this is my um crochet bestie um I watched this granny square skirt tutorial but my squares was bigger but like I used her tutorial to figure out like the waistband and stuff this is her name can you focus she do some very good tutorials like she be helping me with most of my clothes projects and stuff so she posts tutorials every week Y'all should definitely go subscribe to her. And let me show y'all the one um, that I used for my um, bolero. And I used her tutorial for the bolero. And her tutorials are good. And I watch her like her little craft vlogs and stuff. I like watching her craft vlogs. But y'all subscribe to her as well. And if y'all make crochet content, or even if you don't make crochet content, and you make some good videos that I can binge watch, send them to me. Y'all watch them. And I'll subscribe. But I love my nails. A dollar twenty-five. So since they was a dollar, girl math is since they was a dollar twenty-five, and I did it myself. My nails basically was free. Cause a dollar, that's really. I'm not gonna say that's nothing, but like, that's. And I make press-ons. Like I know how to make my own press-ons, but like sometimes I don't be feeling like doing all that. So like this is like a great alternative. And you don't have to know how to do nails to get a cute little shape going but i know some of y'all be asking for more nail content i want to make nail content but i don't know like i wouldn't want that to be a whole video so i would probably have to um just add it into the vlogs but i'm about to try to finish this bolero is i learned how to do um a foundation chain so that's good because that's gonna be i'm gonna be able to make my dress and I wanted to show y'all, um, I want to make, I'm making, I'm going to make, um, I keep saying, um, I'm going to make a cat beanie with this new yarn I got with this yarn today. And it's going to be so cute. I can't wait. I didn't have to do all that, but it's going to be cute. And these same patches in Joann's for like $4.99. I better go to Dollar Tree. I'm tired of telling y'all this. We balling on a budget over here. Like, it's nothing wrong. Even if you have the money, like, if you have the money, why not save that extra two, three, four, ten dollars and get it from Dollar Tree? My cup, Dollar Tree. This yarn, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Half my stuff on my desk, Dollar Tree. Now, y'all been hooked on them since I was little. When I was little and I found out everything was a dollar, that's back when everything was a dollar. So this like, not early 2000s, mid 2000s, not mid 2000s, like 2010, 2012, 2011, 2020, 2000, you know. And I'm excited to finish it because I want to move on to my next projects. I'm so excited to use this yarn. I don't know what size hook. It say you need two for a hat. But honestly, me looking at it, I feel like I'm not going to need two. We'll see. And this is a weight four yarn. And it say a five, a 4.5 to a 5 millimeter hook should do. So, we'll see. We about to go outside. Grab your projects. Let's go. So, this is the dress and the sleeves. I need to make the sleeves a little longer. Like, I'm probably going to do, like, two more rows for the sleeves. I had made an extra row, and I had um, ended up pulling it because I thought once I seamed it, it was going to get a little longer. But it didn't get full, full long. But this is the sleeves. Oh, and it's that dress. But it's cute. I like it. So, it did take, like three of these but i have like little pieces of these left like three like little things of these no i only got like two little things of these left so it took about two and a half so no about yeah two and a half i guess and dollar tree so i got it and it was about 375 tax for something so that ain't bad that's cute and I need to fix this because it keep, you know, but it's cute. We about to go ahead and we about to start on the cat beat.
remember if I told y'all I learned how to foundation double crepe, ooh, double crochet. So I did for the first row, cause I know y'all gonna ask. I did a first, for the first row, I did a foundation double crochet. And I just did that until it wrapped around my head. And I would never go back to chaining for my uh cat beanies. Cause when you chain for your cat beanies, the, the first row be so stiff. So like, look how much stretch they have. Like it got so much stretch and I still got this much yarn left, so I knew, I still got like, probably like three or four more rows left, because I do 14 rows, no, I do 12 rows for my cabinies, because I don't like the um, fold over personally, but um, yeah, and so far it's coming out cute, I love it, I love this color, it's coming out or what I like, it's, it's the exact thing I pictured, so I might go back to Joanne's and get some more of this yarn probably, because I got to go back and return that, um, that granny square yarn so so far so good but um yeah that foundation double crochet is a game changer like things it'd be a hit or a miss like you could chain the same amount of number one time and then that second time you do it it won't fit so like it just be given like who who the problem me or the hat but yeah is it too hot for one of these i don't feel like it's too hot because like I don't know. I'm I'm a person. Ever since I started crocheting, I wear my hats year round, and I always say that like, it's never too hot for me to put on a hat. And like, if I get hot, I just take it off. Like, it don't be that deep for me. But I'm about to finish this. It's working up so fast. Like, I just it's working up fast. I don't know how long it's been, but it's 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 fast. That's why I like making cat beanies without the um. Like, and when I say brim, I mean like this basically. Like, but yeah, it's so cute. I love it. Y'all, I finished the hat. Let me get myself together real quick. This is the hat. Y'all can't really see it, but I'm going to get up and show y'all. But I just wanted to talk about some books for a little bit because y'all know I'm trying to get out of my reading rate. Right? So I did go to the library the other day. I think it was that day of uh, them clips I deleted. But I got a few books. So I got The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. I read her book, um... Monday is not common. This was a five-star read. It's sad. Have your tissues nearby because you're going to cry. And so I'm trying to read this and get into it. It's like a thriller. But that's one book. And I got my week with him because I read her book. Um, ex Not excuse me why I ugly cry. Um, Confessions of a Alleged Good Girl. That was a five-star read. That book was good too. So I got this book by her because... Sometimes when you're in a book rut, I heard it's good to like read authors that you already read their books before. So like you know what their writing style is. So and then I'm probably I'm I wanna start this book. It's by Kennedy Ryan. I bought this way back in like November. It's called When When You Are Mine by Kennedy Ryan. It's good. Y'all go read the back of the books. But we probably gonna start reading this today. Um I'm really trying to get out this book rut because I really miss reading. I really do like I really really do oh you can see the hat a little bit better over here but I want to figure out like how I can organize this yarn stuff yeah how I can organize my yarn stuff because I got so much yarn but I was looking at the price of cubicles and stuff and they so expensive so I'm trying to decide if I want to get another yarn cart and just have like two yarn carts on this wall over here I can't see but on my other wall and then put like something of something else over here or if i just want to spend that 40 dollars to get a cubicle but like if y'all have a cubicle do y'all or i don't know like i don't know i don't know what i want to do with my yarn stuff but i do know i need a solution because it's bad but i don't know i don't really think i have nothing planned today i um i don't really have nothing i want to crochet for real for real so this might be like towards the end of the video because I don't really have nothing else to add it to it. But I do think I am going to go to Joanne's today and um, uh, return this yarn so I can get something else. But also, I wanted to tell y'all like this video was fun. Like this little vlog was fun. So if y'all like this, I want to start doing it once a week. Rather y'all like it or not, we doing it once a week. Um, Because they just be fun to make. Like... I love watching the process. And plus, y'all will still get crochet challenges, but, like, this will basically just be, like, behind the scenes of, like, 
those videos and the challenges and the tutorials it'll basically these vlogs will be behind the scenes of that because you know we can actually work on the projects you know y'all get what i'm trying to say but y'all like my rings i got them for my birthday they crystals and they're adjustable because i got little fingers so yeah i don't have nothing else to y'all be yappy i don't have nothing else to yap about so i guess we're gonna end the video yeah, I had fun with y'all. This is the end of the video. And y'all already know, I love y'all. And we go together what? Real, real bad. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next week.